It's February 2024 and Amihan is releasing the open beta version of their flagship tower defense game, Everseed, which is free to play. To play, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need an Android device. You're gonna need to be logged into Discord on that device. And then you're going to need to download and install the Everseed app. So I'm gonna walk you through all three of those steps. Let's jump in. So first up, your Android device. It could be a physical device you have, or if you don't have one, you can use an emulator that you run on your desktop computer. Now the game experience is best played on the typical aspect ratio of a phone. That being said, it does appear to run fine on other aspect ratios like you might find with a foldable phone or a tablet. Now, whether you're using a physical device or an emulated device, make sure you're at least running Android version 12. To figure that out, you can go to your settings, scroll down to about device. Mine says about emulated device. You might see something slightly different there. Okay, and scroll down until you see the Android version here. Okay, so I'm on 14, I'm good to go. It's at least a version 12. Now, if you use a physical phone, the bare minimum system requirements you're gonna want for hardware is gonna be at least four gigabytes of RAM and at least eight cores at 2.4 gigahertz for your CPU. Okay, you can perhaps find that in the settings area. I'm not sure because I'm using an emulated device. Um, but if you cannot find it there, uh, go ahead and do a search on your phone model and you can look it up on any storefront that sells it. An example baseline device would be the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11. As I mentioned, I went the route of using an Android emulator. I went with Android Studio and that's directly from Google and is intended for developers. So if you want a video of how I set up Android Studio, which you can run on your Windows or Mac, um, just leave a comment down below and if there's enough interest, I'll go ahead and record a video of that walkthrough. Uh, alternatively, you can look into some third party emulators. One example would be BlueStacks, all one word, and some members of the community have had success with that as well. So before you keep watching, you may want to pause and just make sure you have your device ready. So next up, we're gonna log into Discord and that will allow us to download and install the Everseed app. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up your default web browser. It's typically Chrome. If you overwrote it, you should know what that is because when we install the Everseed app later and then when we log in, it's going to temporarily send us to our default web browser. So we wanna make sure we're logged into Discord there. So for me, that is Chrome. I'm gonna open up Chrome. And we're gonna to go to everseed.com slash download. And it's gonna say login required. You must log in with your Discord account to continue. I'm gonna click log in. Okay. Now I'm still on the web browser. I'm not in the Discord app. And I'm gonna put in my email or phone number and my password. If you've never used Discord, it is kind of like a non work version of Slack or Microsoft Teams, and it supports text and voice and video communication. So the Everseed online community is in Discord. So if this is new for you, click register, and you're gonna walk through the steps to create an account. And if it prompts you to sign up for multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication, I strongly encourage that. And if it upsells you on this plan called Nitro, that is purely optional. That's just something from Discord. It has nothing to do with every seed. It's up to you if you wanna do that, but Discord is completely free. You don't need Nitro. Okay, once you're logged into Discord, it'll say signed in as your username, and then it's going to request access. What's happening is everseed.com is asking for permission from Discord to use Discord as a means of login. And it's also gonna ask for some basic information. So username, avatar, banner, email address, and then they always have a silly one. So you can go ahead and click authorize. Okay, now we are still in our web browser this whole time. We just went, sent, we were sent back to the everc.com website. And now since we're logged into Discord, 
is going to permit us to download the APK, which is the application. So right now, Eversea is in beta, so it's not available on the Google Play Store. So that's why we need to download it from eversea.com slash download. Make sure you're only downloading Eversea from this link. Okay, the same file might be harmful. Do you want to download eversea.apk anyway? Because yes, there can certainly be APKs that pretend to be Everseed or just are other apps and you're downloading an application not through the Google Play Store. So it's warning you about that. Everseed is safe. So I'm gonna click download anyway. And then it says file downloaded. If you don't click that banner in time, it will slide away. Rest assured, you can go up here. It's gonna be the little three dot menu. It's saying I need to update Chrome. So it's showing me a different icon. And there it is. So it would normally be this. You would click that and go to downloads. And then you can find it here. Okay. So I'm going to click that. Chrome says for your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps. Again, it's because it's not from the Google Play Store. So it's an extra precaution. You may not see this. That means you've already uh, allowed installations from unknown apps. But if you see this message, all you have to do is go to settings. And then it'll take you right to the area of setup that you need to go to. You're going to check mark or select uh, allow from this source. And then Everseed, once it has permission to install, it's going to immediately pop up and say, do you want to install this app? You can click install. And then the app is installed from here. You can click done to get back to other stuff on your phone, but we want to keep pressing forward and open the Everseed app. So go ahead and click open. All right, now the uh, orientation is landscape. In the next video, we're gonna be living in landscape mode. So I won't flip it quite yet, but you're gonna wanna click the orb button that says login. So what's happening is it's sending us back to our default web browser, Chrome. And we're already logged into everseed.com here because we just logged in to download it. So all we have to do is click play. And so now what's happening is the Everseed website is saying, yep, Everseed app, we're already logged in. So we get sent back to the Everseed app and then we are good to play. So I'm going to allow notifications from Everseed. And then in the next video, which I will link to somewhere, uh, we're gonna actually talk about the gameplay, get to the fun stuff of playing this game. Now, Amihan is releasing regularly updates to the open beta. So periodically, you're going to have to upgrade the app. The app does prompt you that there's a new version, so you can follow the prompts there. Uh, and it may require you to still leave that toggle on that allows installation from unknown locations. If you do want to turn that off at some point just for the sake of security and you're worried that you'll accidentally install something that you shouldn't, uh, you can go to your settings. I'm going to go back. In the main settings area, I'm gonna to go to apps. Okay, it may look a little different depending on your version. For version 14, it's down in special app access. You might need to click the little three dots menu and then from there, select special access. But I'll click special app access and at the kind of middle area here, this install unknown apps. And then Chrome, we can see that we allowed that previously. If you want to turn that off at some point, you can go ahead and toggle that back off, okay? Now, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments. Now, granted, I'm not an Amihan employee. I'm just a member of the community that's trying to help people get onboarded with playing the game, okay? Uh, so I do encourage you to join the Everseed Discord. There are moderators there that can help you. And there are the Amihan staff themselves that are there to help you. So what you can do to join that is click the Chrome to go back to the website. And let's just go to everseed.com. And you can click the Discord icon, which is like that little game pad with the eyes. And then click accept invite. Now this link will take you to the Google Play Store and it's gonna prompt you to install the Discord app. Feel free to do that. You'll just have to log in again to Discord. Uh, if you don't want to install the Discord app, no problem. You would have to go back to your Chrome web browser here. 
and go to discord.com and then here click open discord. Now you should already be logged in because we did that earlier. Click open discord. Okay, and once you're in discord, I'm already in the Everseed app. You won't see that yet if you're not a member. So you're gonna click the plus sign. And then it says, have an invite already, join a server. And for the invite link, you can just type in Everseed. Make sure you're typing that in correctly. And we'll click join server. Okay, now I'm already verified. You're gonna have to walk through the verification process just to confirm you're not a bot. And then once you're in, I encourage you to explore the different channels. Announcements is a big one for uh, just general announcements from the team about the game. And you may or may not see all of these channels that I have on screen. It just depends on your roles in the community. Okay, so that is Discord. That is the setup. Let's get to the fun stuff. Let's play some Everseed. Ba -ba -da -ba -da.